Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your March Soul session. I'm Princess India. If you're new and if you're family, welcome back. My friend, and what's not, or whatever. If you're not familiar, okay, with what my soul sessions are, they are your spirituality as well as personal development readings. And we are looking at the energies that you guys may encounter in the month of March for the purpose of giving you clear guidance and any advice or uh, any heads up that you may need, my friend. So let's uh, go ahead and jump in to you guys reading. We are doing a central energy, a challenge, a past influence, future possibilities, your above energy as well as your below energy, which stands as a conscious mind and subconscious mind energy and at the bottom of your deck. Interesting. <laughs> I haven't said this in a minute. We have the five of wands. That's the Petty LaBelle card. <laughs> so what it's looking like, Cancer, the energy that's undergirding what you guys may be experiencing this month is uh, petty squabbles and a little bit of drama. You know what I mean? So it's more or less, um, I'm seeing it as cancer standing for something or you having your mind set on something or going in some particular direction. And I see opposition in relation to that. I do see elements as well. Um, of just anger and i feel that that anger comes from um i don't even know why i want to say this this month has been so strange i'm gonna say that after this <laughs> the first thing is the anger that i feel you guys would be feeling it's coming from like a miscommunication or people not understanding or hearing you out or not understanding you. It's kind of like this vibe I get of you guys. And this would be a really good example. It's kind of like, say, if your spiritual gifts are kicking in, right? And say you have a dream that's like a premonition. This is all hypothetical. If you have a dream that's like a premonition that's saying like, you know, someone you know, you know, is gonna go to Coney Island and get on a Ferris wheel and the Ferris wheel is gonna break and you're like telling people and everyone thinks you're nuts. You know what I'm saying? And it's like getting angry because it's like, you know, people aren't seeing what I'm saying or like they're not getting it and I need people to listen to me. Like that's the, the kind of anger. The other thing with this, which is really weird because I've never seen this in the Five of Wands ever. <laughs> but I, I get like Mars energy and I don't really know where that's relevant. I mean, if I were to take like, uh, I think Mars like rules Aries, right? So maybe if you have Aries in your chart, you should watch the Aries reading or we're just speaking to the characteristics of Aries that of which would be like trailblazing, which would be saying like in the midst of conflict is more or less like um, fighting for what you believe in and like standing your ground in so many words and not allowing that opposition to, um, to get to you. But I mean, that's interesting. I never saw that before, but hey, I'm here for it. Anywho, <laughs> your central energy okay is the six of cups in the reverse that's challenged by the strength card in the reverse which is leo energy interesting in your past influence we have the six of swords in the reverse so what this is looking like cancer this is both mentally and emotionally being stuck in your past you know so this is like more or less gone past the uh, the line of self-reflection into dwelling or even ruminating. Um, and I think the thing that you guys may not be conscious of or may not be aware of is any unrest you guys are feeling at present or any lack of motivation you guys are feeling to move forward. Because with the strength in the reverse, it's saying to me that there's a desire on some sense or another to overcome something or to move forward with something or to be successful with something. However, um, I feel the thing that you guys aren't seeing 
um, that's really truly the blockade is mentally and emotionally being stuck in your uh, past. Now, taking into account this five of wands, um, that slightly changes the dynamic for me because, and I don't know why I'm I like, I'm seeing it like this, but it, it's almost like, um, it's literally like a battle is how I feel it. It's like, I feel it would be cancer in a group of other people and all of these people. And I'm treading lightly with this because saying it the way that I said it in the very beginning, I think, you know, sometimes if a person is, is being inspired to do something or to go in a particular direction, right? And there's people who are in opposition to you, I always, you know, inspire people or push people to kind of go against the grain, right? But seeing these cards, it's making me kind of think that what you guys are standing for is very much rooted in this past energy. So it's kind of like your perspective on what's happening in the present has a lot to do with where you've been and it's not really seeing it for what it is. And it's kind of seeing this opposition from other people as that. But it's almost like the people who are opposing what it is you're standing for are actually in support of you seeing the situation clearly or seeing the situation for what it is, if that's making sense. And you guys are kind of standing on something that's antiquated. And it's like rebelling against what this group is telling you is really happening. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that same vibe, like I was saying, like how I would advise someone to go. It's like, I know what I'm talking about, but it's almost like there's a group of people who are kind of like, nah, you're not seeing it how it is, if that makes sense. Now your underlying energy, okay. We have the six of pentacles in the reverse and your above energy is the four of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so here's the thing. If we were to say how this situation is being perceived consciously for you, Cancer, it's seeing the glass half empty. So still going back to what it is that I'm saying, that's really where the block is. It's like, you guys are being held back because of your own perspective of this situation. The six of pentacles in the reverse is saying to me that the, like the root of this four of wands and so many, I mean, this four of uh, pentacles in the reverse. So why it is you guys are holding off or cutting yourselves off or, um, you know, feel like you're in a disadvantage with this or like there's some loss or whatever. It's inspired by this belief of being shortchanged or always getting the um, short end of the stick, if you will, or you're always doing for people and people aren't reciprocating what it is that you're um, investing into situations, if you will. So it's almost like a very pessimistic kind of perspective in so many words. Now, like I was saying before, <laughs> seeing all of this, especially your above and your below energy, it kind of helps up for what it is I was seeing with your main line of cards of like, you know, where you were in February up until where you guys are now in uh, March is I feel like in February, it was more like a mental thing where it's just like ruminating over just stuff that has happened. That gets you to a point where you're like pissed. And now it's like kind of going into a sadness, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But all of this stuff is preventing you guys from moving forward in something you're supposed to be moving forward to. So when it comes to what I'm seeing with this undergirding energy, um, it's almost like what you guys are fighting for, like what you believe you're so right on and you feel that other people aren't seeing your perspective or other people aren't seeing your point of view. I feel that your vision is kind of skewed by whatever this is that happened in the past. And I don't know if this is a longstanding thing, like if people just know you to be a person who's really pessimistic and always seeing... Um, like the worst case scenario, if you will, and things, you know, 
but um I feel who these people are. I mean, I feel like they would be people pretty close to you. Like I don't necessarily feel a vibe of like coworkers or nothing like that. I mean, it could, but it, it, the vibe to me feels more like um, like people in your inner circle. And and this is me just kind of pinging it a little deeper. I feel where this would be difficult is because the Cancerian person is used to being the person who's always right or always has the right answers. Or like, say, if we were to talk about siblings, like you would be the oldest sibling and all of your younger siblings always look to you or in your family dynamic, it's like, you know, you're the person that everybody comes to in times of crisis. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of being in that position. And now with whatever the situation is that you guys are dealing with, you have those same people that usually come to you for the answers, trying to offer you an answer. And it's like, you don't want to hear it because it's almost like, and this is me just being honest, it's almost like, what do you know? Like you always come to me for advice. So it's like, how do you counsel the counselor in so many words? Like that's kind of like the vibe that I get from it. But I feel more or less it's a need to hear these other people out, not necessarily saying to take their advice unless you want to, but I feel like what they're saying to you will offer you another perspective on what it is you're actually going through because I feel the way that you're perceiving what is happening is a lot worse than it actually is. And it comes back to your own perspective. It's like your perspective on life is like hypothetically like not trusting people or like I said before, you always get the short end of the stick. You know, I know stuff like this would never work out for me. You know, whatever the case may be, and you're not really seeing the opportunity in it, nor are you seeing that seeing your present through the lens of your past is preventing you from stepping into what would be an opportunity for you now. And then with the 10 of wands and the reverse going forward, this is more or less speaking to you guys re um, releasing that burden because it's more or less saying this is a burden you guys have carried with you for some time up to this point willingly. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what the 10 of wands is really talking about. So it's more or less, you know, people ask like, can you help me with this? And this is hypothetical. Can you help me with this? Can you help me with this? And you're like, sure, sure, sure. And you're taking on wand after wand after wand, you know? And once you get to the 10, you're just completely depleted because the only purpose that you were supposed to serve is carrying your one little wand. And now you then took on nine other ones that unnecessarily. But I see this more or less as perspectives. It's almost like cancer. <laughs> it, it would almost be that every single hurt, pain, and disappointment you have been through in your lifespan or you've been through in the last year, the last couple of months, whatever the case may be, has skewed your perception on life, people, your beliefs on life and people, your experiences and all of that. So now what we're looking at is Cancerians in this byproduct of all of the wounds and disappointment that they've been through up until this point, right? And now you have this opportunity, right? To overcome yourself in a sense, right? But you're seeing the situation that you're in is far worse than it really is. And it's because it's almost like, I don't know how to describe this, but if you look at it almost like having an eye infection and you don't get it taken care of. So it's like every day progressively, your eye just starts to crust over more and more. So now in March, we're in a place to where your eyes are completely covered in like crust. And I know that sounds so disgusting. Your eyes are completely covered in crust and you're peering through all of that dried up crusty pus and you're trying to make a judgment of you know what do you see in front of you but you don't have a full clear view because you're looking through all of this like crusty pussiness you know what i'm saying and it's like you seeing you know a car where there's really a boat and then you have people who are close to you that are saying hey that eye infection, you never got checked. You have a whole bunch of crust on your eyes. It's like, that's not a boat, it's a car. And you're like, conspiracy. 
how can you tell me what it is that I'm seeing? I know that that's a boat and look, this, this and this. And that's definitely a boat. And everyone's like, nah, that's not a boat. It's a car. You know, and that's what that five of wands is symbolic to, to me. And it's more or less like disqualifying these people telling you that that boat is a car because these are people who look to you. So how could they tell me, which is pretty egoic. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> but it's like, how could these people who look to me for the answers think that they're qualified to tell me what I know I'm seeing with my eyes, not taking into account that your eyes are not in tip top position, if that's making sense. So I feel what would be who Cancerians this month is to hear out the people that are speaking into your life. You know what I'm saying? To get an objective view, because I feel like you guys are too subjected in this situation, if that's making sense. And I hope that that makes sense. That's interesting. But anywho, I'm going over to my new network to do you guys extended. So if you're about that life, follow me on over there. If not, I still love your face. And I'll see you guys sooner than later, my Cancerian friends. Go get your eyes checked. Love your face. <laughs>